So, when a Thai boxer tries to kick, another guy tries to take you down, that's a whole different story. Um, instead of punching, a lot of guys will try to punch to stop the takedown. Not gonna happen. The only time that you're gonna punch to stop the takedown is if you're already free from the takedown and then punching kinda, kinda um, uh, as an afterthought or in retaliation to the, to the shot. But you're not gonna punch to stop the shot. You might need to stop the shot, but still, you should be away from the shot before you knee. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna stop him, boom, once he catches the kick, I'm not gonna stop him from shooting and taking me down. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to pierce this hand through his armpit between between my leg and, and his, his uh, little hook right there. So as he shoots, I'm gonna peel it in here and push my leg down forward and I'm gonna drop step my back leg this way. So now I've got the underhooks. He's not thinking I'm coming back at him. He's thinking he's coming forward at me. I'm gonna have to kind of try to sprawl backwards and if he pushes into me, then, you know, I'm took us over 10 cup backwards. So once again, I kick, he grabs, this hand goes through the armpit, I step back, take the drop step forward. That's how you stop the shot. Once again, kick, catch, dig, back step. Here we go. Love drop. Okay, this is where you're supposed to kick somebody in the leg. At 10%. At 10%. It's a bad idea. No, I'm just kidding. You're, 10%, he's gonna feel it for a week or so, but he's gonna be able to walk. <laughs> okay? You still into this? I'm still into okay, it. Okay, solid. Okay, so if you look here, um, this is waistband. If he's wearing his shorts where a normal man wears his shorts, that means that the happy spot is, you'll be able to feel. The happy spot is right about, yeah, there. Feel that? Felt it. Feel how that, that could work? I definitely wouldn't want more than 10% from the Yeah, kid. yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna look for like six to eight inches below the waistband, and that's gonna be right there, right underneath the hip. Okay. So to show you what a 10% kick looks like. Okay. Here's the form. I'm gonna corkscrew my left foot down in this manner. I'm gonna bring my right leg over the top, keep it nice and just a little bit bent. What I'm gonna make sure I don't do is flick because that turns into a oh, Taekwondo kick, which doesn't work. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that kick down in a chopping motion, just like I'm chopping his leg down with an ax. It's very, very similar. Okay, so it looks like this. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Um, yeah, I suggest dispersing your weight between the two legs. Okay. Yeah, you don't wanna take the weight off of it for some reason, and you definitely don't want to put the weight on it. Okay, so you just want to kind of disperse. 10%, right? 10%. I've, I've, I've done some tie boxing. I respect the kick. I don't need to be taught a lesson. I just want the viewers to see the Absolutely. good form and where Absolutely. it goes. Okay, 10%. 10%. Okay, you ready? Ready. I'm marching like you do as a tie boxer. Ready? Ready. Here we go. 10%. Woo! 100%. Would have killed me. <laughs> Doesn't that oh, sound man. <laughs> There's almost like an after effect too. The initial Okay, that wasn't oh wow. <laughs> yeah, there's like a two week after effect. Oh great. <laughs> Once again, you see what see what we go through for you people? Are you using him to <laughs> you, he's like that? He's my girl crutch. So is there, is there anything that you want to get out there to the to the public, to your fans? What What's Absolutely. up in the world of Kit Cope? What's coming up? What's next? You're not going to make it today, obviously, because I mean, we're about to do it in a couple of minutes. But uh, there's a Kit Cope and Nick Diaz seminar that's actually touring all of the L.A. boxings around the world. Today we're at L.A. Boxing in Orem, Utah, um, where we're about to kick off a, a pretty gnarly seminar. They've been pretty successful. They're a really good time. I won't kick you in the leg. I'm filming another MTV documentary called True Life, I'm an MMA Fighter. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Yeah. Do you know, have any idea when, when that might be? Might that's air, actually, or? we're shooting over the next couple of months, and that's going to air um, in late June or early July. Does, uh, does Toe to Toe have a website? Uh, they do. If you wanna... It's actually Toe, the number two, Toe.com. 
perfect. And we can get a, get yeah. cool, a set up with a cool shirt like that one. Maybe the an cool autograph version. Cool shirts like these. <laughs> There's actually, oh, also, um, speaking of autograph versions, uh, OTM. I'm sure we're all aware of OTM on the mat, on the mat.com. They're actually doing a signature Kit Cope shirt. There have been a couple signature Kit Cope shirts out there. Um, it's the I Hurt People shirt. So if you ever see anybody on television wearing an I Hurt People shirt, it's a Kit Cope shirt. Uh, Rico Rodriguez actually wore one uh, at Celebrity Rehab. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're actually doing a new version. OTM's doing a new version of the I Hurt People shirt. And it's, it's pretty awesome. It's actually it's on my website, kitcope.com, and on onthemat.com. Well, thanks so much for, for coming on and, and being Absolutely. on the show. I'm going to let you uh, he's His leg's actually shaking. It's, I can feel him. Go, da, 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 da. So we'll let him go 10%. and get some ice on that. And, and thanks again. Thanks, guys. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. Next week, we have LA Boxing's MMA coach, Chuck Costello.